Hey friends! <laughs> Wasn't sure if this was going to start or not. Um, so, I'm getting out ready to weed a little bit here tonight. And I wanted to share with you uh, some of our discussion in the Abundant Living course this week. Because it really has a lot to do with weeding and weeds. Um, what we are talking about is this week when to eat. And we're also talking in the book that we're reading about mindset and how you think because how you think drives what you do so if you have ever struggled with knowing what you need to do but not being able to do it it's because of how you think even though you know that you should do it there's reasons you have beliefs underlying that prevent you from doing the thing habits that prevent you from doing the thing it's okay. We just have to address those and change those. So that's what we were talking about. And in conjunction with when you should eat. And honestly, I'll tell you, here it is in a nutshell. You should eat when you're hungry. That is all. <laughs> it sounds so simple, but we have uh, appetites, is what Wallace Waddles called them appetites where we have trained ourselves you have to eat at a certain time you all have to sit down and eat together as a family you have to eat three meals a day all these have to's all these rules that we have and we get disconnected from our hunger so eat when you're hungry and that will lead you actually this next week we're talking about what to eat because it's also super simple. Eat when you're hungry, and when you're hungry, eat what it is that you're hungry for. So, nine times out of ten, it's going to be what's in season. That means right now, it's a lot of vegetables, greens, light meats. Because in the heat of summer, you need those carbs and that quick energy. And that's what's available. It's what's provided. God set things up pretty darn well. We run around saying, what should I eat right now? What should I eat to be healthy? What drink should I drink to be healthy? And there's a lot of good options, but we get hung up on what you put in your mouth instead of thinking, I am a healthy person because I'm still alive. If you're alive, you're a success because that's what living is all, that's what all of nature is about is being alive. So if you are alive, know that you are already a success and you are healthy. From there, things can get better, but know that you're a success. And don't get hung up on what to eat. The latest powder that is the superfood for you to drink or these concoctions that are supposed to bring health to your body. Not that they don't help, and I'm not totally slamming them, but what I'm saying is God has provided what you need around you. And I'll be quite frank, if you think that you need something other than what's provided around you, you're saying something about your God. So, that said, um, that's a big thing. It's a big thing. I have been really working with that thought for the last year now. What you need is provided around you. When that is your mindset and that you are as healthy in your station of life right now as you could be, when you start looking around for what is more life around me, you'll find it. You will find the things that will help you be healthy. The greens, the vegetables, the meats, especially if those meats are raised on the greens and vegetables. Um, it's a whole system. And you will discover it when you decide that what's around you is what's for you. And you don't have to worry about what shall I eat and what shall I drink to fix this thing that's wrong with me. Because that puts you in a mindset of focusing on what's wrong with you. And the fact that you don't have what you need, and that is contrary to how health works. Good health focuses on what you have, 
what you are doing. Can you do more? Maybe so. Let yourself get hungry. And then you will find out what you need to eat. And it will be around you. I guarantee it. Or accessible to you in some way. Because that's how the world is made to work. And when you trust God that it's there because he's promised it's going to be there. Um, you remember who he said runs around worrying about what shall we eat and what shall we drink. Gosh, don't be one of them. It's around you. Um, whether it's weeds or whatever else it is that you need for your body, it'll tell you. Trust God. Trust your body. Then you don't have to worry about what you will eat and what you will drink. Um, just for fun, I got to show you some crazy life. I walked out of my greenhouse. It has been unattended really for the last week. I watered it at the beginning of the week. And life is going crazy. Kale will seed itself. I have kale growing outside of the greenhouse now. That's a mallow weed, that big leafed one. That one there, of course, is a sunflower. I also have cilantro going crazy in here. And sow thistle, you can see that there. And tomorrow, I'm going to go get a new blender so I can enjoy those. <laughs> so, what shall, we, what shall we drink? We shall eat and drink what is provided around us when we're hungry. Trust God. Have a great and abundant weekend. Talk to you later.